What's up, everybody? It's Eon here, and welcome to an Elder Scrolls 6 news update. That's right, folks. Todd Howard went to YouTube Live at E3 2016 to chat with Jeff Keighley about the stuff that's happening now and the stuff that's to come. And Elder Scrolls 6 was mentioned. And basically, he made it very clear that Elder Scrolls 6 is a very long way off. Here's what he had to say. Um, and speaking of Elder Scrolls, I don't know what you can say, but are you guys gonna do an Elder Scrolls 6? <laughs> I mean, that's kind of like the elephant in, in the room always yeah. when we talk about anything. And, you know, I think it's good to, in these moments to tell our fans, yes, of, you know, of course we are. Okay. Um, you know, it's something we love, but it is, you know, I have to be careful what I say. It's a very long way off. I could okay. sit here and explain the game to you, and you would say, that sounds like you don't even have the technology. How long is that going to take? And so it's something that is going to take a lot of time, what we have in mind for that game. Uh -huh. um, and we actually have two other large projects we're also doing um, that are bigger than anything we've done. You, people will probably hear about those even before Elder Scrolls VI. Um, and that'll make sense many years from now. Okay. Um, so you have, so that's amazing. So you have a vision in your head of what you want Elder Scrolls VI to be. We, we think very long term. We're not, yeah. we're not a developer that's going to like rush something like this out. Yeah. Um, any of our games. So when you think about what is the future of that kind of game, you know, we we have a pretty good of idea of what it would be, and it's just going to take technology and time right. that really we don't have necessarily right now. But when you think of those two other big projects, I mean, are they going to be, are you going to do like a new IP? Are you going to go back to Fallout? Do you think about that? You know, I don't want to say yet, but yeah. uh, I think uh, people should know by now that the gap between hearing about it and it coming out, we, yeah. we, I like that to be really short. Okay. Um, so it, they're all a ways off and uh, we'll talk about them when we talk about But you guys them. are f effectively right now at least parallel pathing two big things? We've always, they kind of overlap, and we've, okay. they, like, people, like, we're expanding, but we've always kind yes. of done that. If we sat here years ago and I said, hey, we're doing, we're doing Fallout 4, we're also doing a mobile game, we're also starting right. this other thing, you'd be like, how are you doing all that? So it's actually not abnormal for us. Yeah. Um, it's just, they overlap, and we try things, and then we like something, and then we move more of the team on to it, and we say, okay, this is going to be our next release. All right, so uh, Elder Scrolls 6, three games away is what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Do you think about, like, are there other worlds you want to play in? Or, I mean, I'm sure you're experimenting with ideas all the time. Yes, I mean, I think that um, people shouldn't necessarily look at what we've done and say, we're just going to alternate a Fallout and an Elder Scrolls. There are obviously universes we love, yeah. um, but there are things that we want to try in gaming whilst they would still be very much a Bethesda Game Studios style game or something right. that people would expect from us while being different. What I'm taking away from this is there's a lot of excitement I sense from you about you know multiple things going on at BGS, and for many years it was sort of like, one game every three years. Yeah, I think like that's that. well said yeah. that, you know, since we've expanded, there's just a lot we want to do. So we feel we should go for it um, as opposed to, well, we'll only have one thing. People are going to see more things from us, like updating okay. Fallout is yeah. part of that. Yep. So having an opportunity to do that in VR, um, something we kind of messed with. And then, you know, once, it, once you try it, you're like, what if we did the whole game? Yeah. And then everyone goes, oh my, yes, okay, yeah. let's go for that. And we'll, look, we'll uh -huh. make our mistakes. Um, not everything will be a, a, a huge success. Um, but we want to try things, and we're in that space where we feel like we have the audience, we have the time, that we can do these things. So a couple things that we got out of this. First, again, Elder Scrolls VI is a very long way off. We won't see this game for many years. Second, they may not even have decided on the technology that they're going to use yet. Now, I like what I'm hearing there because that means that Bethesda might be considering building a whole new engine because one of the complaints with Bethesda Game Studios games is that the technology often doesn't seem up to par. Like Fallout 4, while it looks really good, it's also clear that they're essentially using an enhanced version of a dated engine. So the fact that they're exploring new technologies has me really excited. Now, one of the big reasons for why Elder Scrolls VI is a long way off is because Bethesda Game Studios is expanding their horizons. They're actually working on two other large projects that are bigger than anything they've done. And according to Todd Howard, we will hear about those before Elder Scrolls VI. So Elder Scrolls VI is coming after two Bethesda Game Studios games. Todd Howard mentioned that they want to try different things in different worlds while making games that you'd expect from Bethesda. So expect these two big projects to be role-playing games of some kind with open worlds. But Todd Howard didn't want to spoil anything, so that's all he had to say about the matter. 
Something else that Todd Howard stated about Elder Scrolls 6 is that they probably don't have the technology and time right now to make the game that they're envisioning, which makes me wonder, is Elder Scrolls 6 intended for the next generation of consoles? And I'm talking beyond PlayStation 4 Neo and Xbox Scorpio. I mean, think about it. This is two major games bigger than anything they've ever done that they're working on, and that's bound to take up a couple years. And by the time those two games are out, I am thinking that we are going to be seeing the next generation of consoles. And maybe that's what Todd Howard means by Elder Scrolls 6 taking technology and time that they don't have right now to make it. So bottom line, we won't hear about Elder Scrolls 6 in a very long time, so get ready to go back to Skyrim in the special edition remaster version of the game, or look forward to Skywind, which is the fan project that's remastering Morrowind using Skyrim's engine, and just, uh, you're gonna have to wait a while, so just keep that in mind going forward. But like Jeff Keighley said, it's really cool that Bethesda Game Studios is expanding their horizons. They sound really excited, they got multiple things going on, and they just have a lot of things that they want to do that they can finally realize now that they have the resources and the audience. So I actually can't wait to see where they go next. What are your thoughts on the matter? How long do you think it'll be before Elder Scrolls 6 is finally unveiled? Let us know in the comments below. And to be further updated on gaming news, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.